Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, we are gonna be doing my January 2020 BoxyCharm unboxing. That is right, my first BoxyCharm unboxing of the new year. I'm very excited because I didn't get to film my December um, BoxyCharm unboxing just because my December videos were already planned and by the time it got in and I was already doing other things I didn't have time which I was pretty bummed about because I think that the December box was a pretty good box but I'm very excited this literally came in a day ago and so I'm excited to get into it so yeah you guys let's just go ahead and get started okay you guys so here is the box and opening her up this is what she looks like I'm very very excited because I haven't done an unboxing in a minute since I canceled my FabFitFun and then I didn't get to do this last month so I'm very excited today so the card in the box just says breaking the ice and as you guys know this has all the products that I received their description and pricing for those of you who do not know BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service that I pay for for the $21 a month a box I know that you can get um, Boxy Premium or Boxy Lux, which both are an upcharge. The box is bigger, you get more products, and so the box ends up having a higher retail value. I have not looked much into that just because I have already picked up another subscription service um, for another little mini series for you guys that you will see very soon. But if you do have Boxy Premium or Boxy Lux and uh, you want to leave me some of your thoughts and your feedback on it to see if it's definitely worth me kind of uh, upgrading to please do so I know Jackie from Jackie Naturals does a ton of unboxings and BoxyCharm is her favorite subscription service she has both premium and luxe and everything like that so if you're also interested in learning more about that where I don't have that information check her out I will link her down below she will definitely be the one to give you some details and information I've personally reached out to her before asking for some so Definitely do that if you're curious, but for me, I just have the regular subscription service and this is what the inside of my box looks like. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so the first thing that I got in my box is this Skin & Co. Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. I don't even know. It's made in Italy and you're getting 5.07 fluid ounces in this container. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's quite nice actually. It's pretty hefty. Um, I do like facial scrubs that you guys know this. This does retail for $28 which honestly for 5.7, 5.07 excuse me fluid ounces isn't that bad. I kind of want to smell it. I definitely think I will keep this and give it a try just because I do like exfoliating. I use the Philosophy Micro Exfoliator. That's my favorite and that's what I've been using for years, but I'm down to try a new one. Ooh, okay, that smells nice. It has, you can definitely smell the apricot in it. It's got black truffle extract, apricot seed powder, sweet almond extract, what looks like it's squalene. <laughs> I don't even know if that's right. Oh no! I totally butchered that. And something looks like it says allotonin. Um, I'm gonna quit for it because I've done messed myself up now. But it smells really, really nice. I am definitely gonna keep this and try it out. I want to see kind of what it looks like. Oh, ooh, okay. So this is what it looks like if you're curious. I don't know if you can see the little kind of like orange beads in it. Oh, very nice. Okay. It's a gentle exfoliator. I can definitely feel it on my skin. It does remind me a lot of my philosophy ones in the sense that the beads or the exfoliator is very, 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 very tiny. I think it smells absolutely delectable. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that. Again, that retails for 28 bucks. I really, really like, I hate to wipe it off, but oh my god, it smells so freaking good. Okay, so the next thing in my box is this Dr. Brandt 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream. This also apparently has Ruby Crystal Complex in it. You're getting 0.5 fluid ounces. This is the outside container. It says, all eyes are on you with this potent yet gentle light reflecting and age fighting eye cream. Perfect combination of retinol and ruby crystal complex. It gives your eyes the attention they deserve. 
Uh, let me take this out and show you. It says that this retails for $55. Dr. Brandt is not a cheap brand. I do have an eye cream from them that I do quite enjoy. This is what it looks like, but this is really small for $55. So yeah, uh, I don't know. It says you can use it AM and PM, so I probably will keep this. I'm gonna see, does it come closed? No, so I probably will keep this and try. I do like eye creams. You guys know I'm not by any means old, but I mean, I am 25. You know, I do tug on my face. I've been messing with my face for a long time with makeup, thanks to dance. And I do like to protect the under eye area as it is our most sensitive skin. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and give it a try. I will definitely let you guys know what I think. While we're here, I might as well squeeze it on my hand and see, you know. I didn't pay $55 for it, might as well check it out, right? I can't tell if it's <laughs> the face scrub that I smell. So this is just what it looks like, I just did a little dot there. Ooh, it's got a nice little cooling sensation to it. It's quite thick actually, which I greatly appreciate. We love a thick under eye moisturizer. Oh, it kind of smells like oranges. Mmm. So it has some sort of like citrus smell. I like that. Um, so I'm definitely, yeah, I'm going to keep this. I definitely think it's worth me kind of testing out. I kind of hope I don't fall in love with it because $55 is a lot, sis. And the other one that I was talking about that I have tried from them that I've received, I think I got one in a Fat Fit Fun Box and one in a BoxyCharm one time. And I gave one away just because I didn't need to. But I have used their Needles No More than No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel, which I actually really like as well. You can see that I've actually used it. The tube is nice and squeezed. So this is a pretty solid product as well, so I'll be interested to see how that one works. Moving right on along. The next thing, wow, this is huge, is this Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. This is what the packaging looks like. This is clearly just a highlighter. This retails for $36. This is what the packaging comes in. It's very, very large, but it looks like you open it up like this. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute. And then you take this out. So this is just like the box that comes in. It says, it's your time to shine. That's really cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very bulky. And then it looks like you just, oh, yep, open it up right there and it does say Too Faced. It is magnetic. This is just for show. So this is what she looks like. It is like a pinky, bluey, iridescent-y kind of a color. That is what she looks like. It's supposed to, I guess, look like a diamond sitting in there. So this is called Fancy Pink Diamond. Um, I am not going to keep this um, for a couple of reasons. One, this doesn't quite look like a shade that would really interest me and I can't say for certain because I'm not going to swatch it because I'm not going to keep it so I don't want to do that to it but um, it doesn't really look like something that screams to me and I detest the packaging if I'm being honest like while I think that it is adorable like I get I get it this is not going to sit in any of my drawers it's not going to be good for travel um, I'm definitely not going to keep this thing but I'm going to put it back in there so to whomever receives it you will get the whole experience but I'm not going to keep that so this is the Avant Skin Care 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. So this is what this looks like. It says, it works to reveal more youthful and beautiful skin overnight. It also helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Oh my god. You are getting 1.69 fluid ounces in this tiny little jar, and they have the audacity to say it retails for $107. What the heck? Sis. Okay. I love sleeping masks. Um, you guys know the... Uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask is one of my personal favorites. You can see I use this a lot. It lasts a long time. It smells freaking amazing. As much as I almost like don't even want to, I'm going to keep this and try this out because it's $107. Oh my God. I'm not going to open it just yet just because I don't want it to like 
start, you know, going on its um, like expiration date because it says it lasts for 12 months, which is pretty standard. But I am going to be keeping this. I will be trying this out because I have to know what $107 is going to do for my skin. If it doesn't make my skin look so bright and so plump and youthful and like there better not even be a wrinkle in sight, it better fix this. Like, let's be honest. If it's $107, like I should wake up after I use it and my forehead not do that. Like, holy cow. If any of you have ever tried that before for any reason, please let me know what you think. I, I can't even with that. And then the last thing in the box is this Grande Cosmetics Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. This is what the packaging looks like. This retails for $25. And yeah, it just say that it has a lash enhancing serum. And this is the hottest secret weapon for lashes that command attention. Um, this is no flake, intense black formula, works while you wear it, creating unrivaled thickness through the key ingredient of castor oil. I don't know. I want to say that I don't want it, but because I don't know what the wand on the inside looks like, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it and test it out. Okay, I'll keep this product and test this out. I want, ow, plastic went up under my nail. That was satisfying. So I want to see what the um, the wand look. I will say the packaging feels so cheap. Like, first of all, I can like flail it around. It's so not heavy duty, which you would think that it would be because it looks like it is hefty, but it is not. The packaging feels so cheap. Like I have drugstore mascaras that feel nicer than that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm fine with. The fact that I said I would keep it and try it. So this is what the wand looks like. It reminds me a little bit of like the Better Than Sex or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Just a little less thick. You can kind of see through the wand more than you can through those. Smells like typical mascara. I will be giving this a try at some point. If you guys want me to do some sort of like follow-up video where I wear this for an extended period of time and see if my eyelashes grow or something, let me know because I'm only going to dedicate that much time to something like this if you want to see it. Okay guys, so now that we've seen everything in the box, I went ahead and added everything up and my total retail value was $251 for this box. That's really great because again, you guys know you pay $21 a month. I will made my money back this month. Now, I do want to go ahead and let you know that, like, excluding the Too Faced um, highlighters, so we're going to take away a $36, and my total value from the things that I kept would be $215. I think I want to kind of start doing that where I let you guys know, like, if there's something I don't keep, what was the actual value then that I got? Um, the things I'm most excited for, hands down period, are going to be the face exfoliator. This smells great. I love a good exfoliator. I definitely think you need to exfoliate your face and I am more than happy to try out something else, especially because I'm almost done with the one in my shower. And so because I opened that one, I can go ahead and pop that in there and begin using it. I'm pretty excited for the eye cream. I think that's going to be a great little thing to use. Whether or not I repurchase, we won't know. Okay, you guys, but that is all for today's video. If you yourself have BoxyCharm, let me know what you got in your box or if you also had a favorite item. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. You can also come follow me on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!